setting up your uh, baseline TB3. First thing we need to do is we need to put the unit into setup mode. You do that by switching the unit off, holding the scatter button and switching the unit back on. The unit is now in setup mode. You know that because you can see there is a C in the display and the play button is flashing. Setting the MIDI channel. The MIDI channel is displayed in the window. By default, or if you do a factory reset, the channel will always be set to channel 2. To change the channel, you use the value slot knob and you spin it. Down goes to off, up goes to any other value, including Omni. If you put the unit into Omni mode, any signal on any of the 16 MIDI channels that are coming into the unit will trigger a sound on the TB3. I'm going to reset this one to channel 1 because that's the channel I'm using it on. Setting the MIDI clock mode. By default, the unit is set to auto-negotiate the clock. What that means is that if the unit senses a clock signal either on the MIDI cable coming in or on the USB cable that is attached to the device, it will try to use that as a clock source. If you want the unit to use the internal clock, i.e. ignore any signal coming in, you go to pad C and you touch it and it dims. That signifies that you're now using the internal clock. I want mine to auto-negotiate, so I leave mine on. The next decision we have to make is what are we going to do with the second MIDI, the MIDI socket on the back of the unit. The unit comes with two MIDI sockets labelled in and through. The in socket quite clearly is how you route a MIDI signal onto the unit to be played. The through socket in default mode will literally transfer whatever signal comes in on the in socket straight out to the through socket, thus daisy, daisy chaining to the next device in sequence. However, you can get the TB3 to act as a controller and thus send whatever signal it is generating, whatever notes it is playing, to, the net, to an external device for the external device to play those notes. Now to do that, we need to change the through socket to an out socket. And we do that quite simply by pressing the D-pad. In this mode, the through socket will act as an out socket and any signal that comes in on the in socket, bar the clock, will not be transferred to the out socket. I obviously do not use my unit in this mode, so therefore my through is going to be a through socket. The final setup decision we need to make is how sensitive we want the unit to be. I.e. if somebody hits a key, how hard does it play? To do that, we press the keyboard button. And at the moment, as you can see in the window there, it is set to three. By turning the knob, I can increase the sensitivity to 10, or I can switch the sensitivity off completely. Now, I normally have mine set to about six. Finally, when you've completed setting up your TB3, you need to go back to play mode. And the easiest way to do that is to press the play button. And here you can hear it playing in the background. So this is the point in the video where I turn around to you, my viewer, and say, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a thumbs up. The way the Google and YouTube analytic engines work is that the more likes you get against the video, the more it gets promoted by YouTube and Google, and therefore more people with the similar interests to what you have and I have get to see this content. This channel is driven by my love of music technology. That's what it's called, the music tech guy thought. If you've got queries, want to ask questions about themes or issues I raise on this channel, please, please, please do. Put your comments into the uh, comment section 
below the video and I will try to address whatever issue it is you've raised or whatever question you've raised. If it's something to do with me making future videos in terms of uh, how to do something on a particular piece of equipment I possess, please feel free to say that as well. I can't promise to make videos on all the requests I get, but I do have a jolly good go at making most of them. Around about here is the subscribe button. Again, to do with the uh, YouTube and Google analytic process, the more subscribers the channel gets, the more the channel gets promoted, and the more people get to see the content that you have obviously just watched. If you want to see my latest video, it will be in one of these two boxes on this side of the screen. Also, there is a second box there, and that video will be chosen for you by YouTube based on your YouTube preferences. I look forward to the next time that we interact, and I do mean interact because I always enjoy reading your comments back to me. But for now, Bye-bye.